Hello everyone, so in this lesson you will be learning how to draw this cute little hippo which is inspired by the book called The Little Hippo. This book is inspired by an Egyptian hippo sculpture which I will be explaining you more while I am drawing and sharing the steps. For this lesson all you need is oil pastel if you have some markers and watercolor paint. If you don't have pastel and if you only have watercolor you can always do this lesson. Color pencils and markers will also work. So I'm using 300 GSM watercolor book, which is also as a mixed media. I can use any medium I want because it has a nice thick paper. I will be using the masking tape to create a border around because I don't want to make such a big painting. On this section, I will show you the drawing steps. And in this area, I will show you the main artwork, how we will be decorating and creating the background. So let's get started. So as our first step, I will show you two different ways how you can draw hippo and you can try in both the ways and whichever is easy for you, you can make it for your final project. Let's start with letter C. And after the letter C, you will be making another letter C on the opposite side. This will be considered as the head of the hippo. We will make two leaf shaped ear drawing, two circles for the eyes and it's completely up to you whatever style of the eyes you wish to do it. A happy face and two dots for the nostril. Once I'm done with my head, I will be making the body. So just follow the pencil line. You need to be a little far from the ear and make an upside down U shape, horizontal line. Try to keep it at least one finger space. What vertical line, slight curve. And where you have this small curve you need to try to start your other vertical line from there make sure the other leg will be coming exactly in the same line so this is how my body will be and i'm going to erase the extra lines and that's it super easy right but i still need to add the legs at the back so i'm going to add the back leg and over here the other back leg let's make the toes and just with a simple letter m you can create that and you can make your background as you want For my final project, I will take the construction paper in blue color so I don't need to work on my hippo a lot. I will be sketching it on the blue construction paper and use the black marker to add these patterns. If you don't have a blue paper, you can always use the white paper and just paint it. I'm going to show you both the ways. The video will be in time lapse so you can always pause and replay. Now here you can see that I did both the papers. One was white and I painted blue and one was blue paper. So it's completely up to you. If you don't have a blue construction paper, you can always use the white paper 
and create your own blue hippo. Let's start creating an Egyptian inspired background. So let's start with the horizon line and just add few lines to show the palm tree. These things we will be adding it later on. I'm just giving my guideline and that's it. I will be using the watercolor paint for the background, sky and the ground and the rest I will use some acrylic paint or markers and pastels. Remember that your hippo is in blue color so avoid using blue for your sky. You can use any other color you want. I will be making orange background because blue and orange are complementary color. If you know what are complementary color, do comment below. So I'm almost done with my background. I will see if I need to add something, but right now I'm really happy. So I need to bring my hippo. Now, which one I should use? Either this one or this one. I wish I can get your reviews on this immediately while I'm making the video. But for now, I need to trust my own. Let's try this one. I think this is the stem. Yeah. So it's completely fine if some of the leaves and bushes you have created and they are getting covered. So it's completely fine. I can make my hippo a little bit down so I can still see the little bit of yellow sun effect. So let's use the glue, add your hippo and then we will see if we need to add something extra. Stay with me till the end of the video because I will share some of my students work what we did in the class. I did this lesson with my students age 4 to 8 years, so all the results were completely different. Students did beautifully and each and every artwork was unique. On this note, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment. If you are based in Bahrain and wish to send your children to Wild About Art Studio, do contact me, comment below and I will be able to send you all the details. You can also check our Instagram page Wild About Art and website which is www.wildaboutartco.com.